Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to brand your listing images for KWLS using Pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R.com. It's an online image editor. My last video showed you how to brand your images for KWLS using Publisher, Microsoft Office's Publisher. Publisher is a little bit easier to use, not much, a little bit. If you're uh, unfamiliar with using an image editor, this might be a little bit different. It's not hard, just a little different. So here's Pixlr.com. We want to use the image editor. It's free, it's online, and it works just like Photoshop. Click Pixlr Editor. We're going to create a new image. We're going to create the branding image that will be overlaid onto your listing photos that you'd like to brand. So click create a new image. The default box names it untitled 800 by 600. I'd like you to title it something appropriate. Branding, transparent, dash black. We're going to name it black because I'd like you to make a white one as well for maybe you have a darker image or it's going to be on the grass for an outdoor shot, what have you. It's nice to make a light one and a dark one and just have them available. So the preset here is 800 by 600. Keep the width at 800. Highlight the 600 and type in 100. Very important, click the box that says transparent. Very important. Okay. This is our bare image. Click the arrow tool. Now we need to open the logo, your office logo. Up in the top left, File, Open Image, and then Browse to your logo, your company logo, your office logo. It's important to put your logo in. Click Open Image, find your logo. Those of you uh, that are with KW Shervenic Realty, I'll put a link below where you can download this nice little shiny KWCR logo that I made. The rest of you, go find your own logo. <laughs> okay, so this is the logo. It's open. It's not a part of this image. It didn't open it inside this image. It's a separate image. Over here on the right is the Layers folder the layers section. Click and drag from the layers. Click and drag it into the transparent image that we just started. And it drops it in. Make sure the arrow is highlighted, the selection tool, the move tool, they call it here. And then you can drag it around anywhere you like, right, left. I'm going to put it on the left. Next, go to the text tool, which is the A here. And then where you'd like your text to start, click the text tool there. Now this dialog appears. Type your text in here. When you get to the end where it starts to run over the edge, hit enter. It drops down a line. Just put in your contact information. That's a little bit small. The size is default at 30. Try 32. How about 33? 33 is good. Click OK. Now make sure again that your arrow, the move tool, is selected here. And then you can just grab that text and move it around kind of center it with your logo. Very nice. Now back up to the top left, File, Save, Branding Transparent Black, it's already named. We need a transparent image, so I'm going to choose PNG Transparent Full Quality, then click OK and navigate to the folder where you'd like to keep it where you can find it again. Okay. 
All right, very good. Save it there. That's the folder I want. Now, while we're here, go back to the text tool and then click the text. Change the color to white. This box, you know, you can move this stuff around if you'd like it to be yellow or green or whatever. White is at the top of the diamond area here. So drag that little circle up to the white. Click OK. And now we have white text to use on your darker images. Click OK. And then File, Save. Again, make sure it's PNG. Change the name to Transparent slash white or yellow or green or whatever it is and select PNG transparent OK save it in the appropriate folder good to go you can close that image don't need to save it we've already done that you can close your logo now we're gonna open an image from the computer Open your branding image that you just made. There it is. And then back up to File, Open Image. Navigate to the folder where your listing photos are stored that you'd like to brand. Choose one. There's a nice photo. Again, back up to the Move tool. Make sure the arrow is clicked. Click on your logo that we just opened, the transparent black, the one we just saved. And again, back up to the Layers folder, the Layers area, I should say, and drag, click and drag that onto your, your listing photo that you just opened. Again, make sure that the arrow is selected, and then you can drag that whole thing around place it where you want it if it was a darker if there were darker portions of the photo where you'd like to place that open the white one place it back up to file save name it appropriately you should name it with a keyword house for sale in Hudson Ohio whatever wherever you live wherever the house is whatever you'd like uh, Google to understand and choose JPEG, high quality, you can even bump it up to 100. OK, and then again, navigate to the place, navigate to the folder where you'd like to save it, and click Save. Yeah, I could replace that. And then you can close it, don't have to save it. And then File, Open Image, open a new image. Once again, click on your logo, your, click on your branding, drag it in. If the image is small, you can click on that layer and then go to Edit, Free Transform, and then make sure you hold the Shift key while you grab a corner and shrink it. Apply. Very nice. And then once again, File, Save, JPEG, High Quality, OK, and then navigate to the folder you'd like to save that at. Very good. Not that difficult, a little bit weird. If I went too fast for you, you can use the pause on your video player. You know, you can move back, go forward, watch it again and again if you'd like. That's all there is to it. This video was suggested by Randy and Deanna Gauss of Keller Williams Shrevenick Realty in Fairlawn office. If there's a topic that you'd like to learn about, just add it to the comments below this video and I will happily make you a video showing you how to do whatever it is that you need to learn about. Thanks for watching.